With November arriving as National Family Caregivers Month, Stacy Hall with the Big Sandy Area Development District is looking to continue helping, along with other caregivers in the region, grandparents who are now the primary help for their grandchildren. And supported, but we served uh, 59 caregivers. We had 20 of them get, uh, no, 21 get respite services, which is vouchers they receive where they can hire their own person to come in and let them take a nap, go outside, do yard work, go to the grocery store, and then you get reimbursed for that. We had 40 of those uh, caregivers uh, get supplemental services for their caregiver. And that could be anything from insure, diabetic supplies, incontinent supplies, some things that insurance does not cover. And that's on a limit only access, access that one time a year. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. More broadly, the National Council on Aging cites that families are often the main support for older adults and people with disabilities, and that 53 million of those provide unpaid care, an economic value of $470 billion. And I don't think we realize, or I don't think the caregivers at home realize that they're really a caregiver. You know, it's your family, it's your grandparent, it's your mom, it's your dad. And that's just something we do here in Eastern Kentucky is, I think we do pretty well at trying to care for, care for our own, and I don't think they realize they can get assistance and they need support because taking care of a person can, you know, you usually, it takes a toll on the caregiver. The caregiver puts off their appointments. They put off their self-care. This program is here to help, you know, them get support and services, and it's okay to ask for help. Hall says that what they're trying to do at the development district is not complicated. It is a simple go to assist caregivers in their region and make their life even a little bit easier. We want to support our caregivers and be able to keep our elderly people in their homes. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.